Hey, Greg, DIY RV and Home and Camper's Life. We are at Horse Thief Reservoir camping and we're boiling some potatoes. We're going to make some potatoes. Well, not me. My wife's going to be making some potato salad for today's dinner. She had the fan running. I don't know if you can hear it. And it didn't sound right, so I turn it off and I turn it back on. It still didn't sound right. So let's take the screen off and see what we got. All right. Uh, there we go. And yeah, it's still boiling away, so I gotta be careful. Let's take that off. And lo and behold, seems like the fan fell off. Let's take a look underneath what we got here. So all it is is just a keyed shaft and oh okay so right there it's a snap tight so what it does is when you push it on it's supposed to snap and lock in place there's no other keepers or anything like that so we'll put it on there see if it snaps in place we're fixed if not we might have to look at something else to keep it on there so let's try and see if we can get this fixed real quick because I'm probably guessing that some of you, you guys have had the same problem scratching your head going this thing doesn't blow no more like it used to here we go so now we've got a light on so right here we've got a basically it almost looks like a moon and we've got a cut up here so we'll get those matched up push it yeah see how easy yeah see it's gonna fall right off it doesn't want to stay on so here let's do this let's let's brave it that sounds better yeah yeah that's working so guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you a little secret let's pop that off because it's gonna fall off again anyways and it's a surprise. No, I just gotta grab it, so I'll be right back. Hey, we're back. If you hadn't seen one of my last videos on keeping the furnace cover from vibrating loose, the bolts backing out, the screws backing out, where I used a special product called E6000. Oops, I got the E. There you go, E6000 to uh, put on the screws, and I screwed it back into the hole where. It uh, the metal and it kind of acts like a nylon keeps it in place so far so good it's only one trip but i'm going to take some of this i'm going to put a little dab of it right here and then i'll put it back on and boom just a little bit just enough to keep it in place but not enough that i won't be able to take it off uh, if i ever have to so just a touch just like that I got that sitting on a towel so I don't get in trouble for uh, so I don't get in trouble for uh, making a mess we come back in here we'll find the flat spot again and the flat spot on this and there it is and then we just kind of make sure just like that now of course I'm going to go ahead and run it right now. I'm sure it'll dry. It'll be fine. It'll stay there. But, but I'll tell you what, folks. This E6000 is really good. It, it, it uh, has excellent, excellent adhesion. Uh, it is paintable. And uh, I think it's worth it. You, you got to keep some in your drawer for doing this stuff. Just don't put too much on because I tell you what, this stuff is better than your regular silicone all right anyways hopefully this helped you fix your little problem with the fan on the uh, vent on your range hood if it did please hit the like button subscribe and share the video until next time happy camping